Hi, welcome to CES 2018 here in Las Vegas uh, in the Videantes suite where we're showing demonstrations and we'll be talking about a product launch we did this week. Uh, Videantes is a company that um, licenses processors. We have a, a vision processor that we license to the semiconductor manufacturer. It's very low power, high performance, can do deep learning, imaging, um, embedded vision and uh, also video compression, decompression and that gets integrated then by our customers which are the, the semiconductor manufacturers into chips that then go into automotive cameras such as these. Uh, this is a camera we're showing here that uh, was developed by Ficosa. Ficosa is a Panasonic company, so owned by Panasonic and uh, Ficosa's algorithms partner is called Audisense, so they do the computer vision algorithms. We work together with them, getting them onto this, uh, onto this camera. So what you see here is we, um, um, we show the, uh, the output, of course, on the laptop here. Inside the camera, there's first an image sensor. Uh, then the image sensor goes into an ISP. And after the ISP, that's where Videontis starts doing the processing. So first of all, we do a lens correction to change the very wide angle image into a rectangular image. Then the thing we do is computer vision. Things like pedestrian detection, um, can be trailer hookup assist, or can be um, dirty lens detection. You, of course, want to know if your camera is alive or whether it's muddy, in which case your object detectors aren't going to work. We can do things like structure for motion, SLAM, all computer vision. And f finally, as the third step, we do um, H.264 encoding, because this is an Ethernet-based camera. So this is an Ethernet, automotive Ethernet link toward the rest. Of the, of the car, and then we do very low delay, 10-bit um, H.264 high intra compression on this camera. So that's the, uh, the demonstration um, with Ficosa that we're showing here. Then secondly, what we announced here at CES is our new architecture, which we call our 6000 series. Um, our 6000 series uh, continues our successful 4000 series processor, so it's backward compatible. So any software you see running here on the 4000 series will seamlessly migrate to the 6000 series. It's backward compatible, making it very easy for our customers to also reuse all the software that they've developed for our current architecture onto the 6000 series. But the big new thing is about the 6000 series is that we've added uh, support for deep learning. So the deep learning of course, uh, CNNs um, require very high performance, and we've extended the number of max to uh, up to over 16,000 max per cycle, which is really industry leading, we've seen. And the number of cores we've extended to grow to 256. So it's a really very high performance uh, system we can deliver as part of the 6000. So on the covering the very high end, but we can also go very small. So a single core of the 6000 series is still extremely small and can go into small IoT devices, for instance. Um, and that comes together with a tool that makes it very easy to port your deep learning algorithms that you've trained offline um, onto an embedded device. So we have uh, announced our CNN designer tool that makes it very easy to map uh, your deep learning algorithms. So that's a quick few words about Videontis. Thank you and hope to see you next time.